Hey guys, what's up? I am GojiFan1998 and welcome back for another new video for today. Today I am going to continue on for the next episode of GojiFan98's godzilla -thon. Today, I am going to take a look at the final entrance of the anime Godzilla trilogy with Godzilla Sin uh, I mean, The Planet Eater. Which is, this is my favorite anime film. Love this film. Everything about it is just a little bit okay. So, Godzilla The Planet Eater had an interesting history we're going to discuss about. Follow after the release of Godzilla Sitting on Edge Battle, Toho decided to make one last animated film. Well, thank God this is the last entrance in the animated trilogy. And they decided to bring back another favorite villain from, from, the, from the Godzilla franchise, King Ghidorah. Ghidorah was mentioned in the last movie, in the post credit scene, by Nepheus. Now, for Ghidorah's design, like Godzilla Earth himself, he was inspired of a plant. Ghidorah's design was using a, the servant's model by one of the guys who were working on it. While the entire body of Ghidorah can only be seen in a silhouette in the vision. While in the film itself, only we can see its head and longer neck over 20 kilometer, kilometer diameter. As the Mechagodzilla city was 14 kilometer diameter. So, the movie was like the last film. It was actually a continuation where we last left off. Follow after Mechagodzilla City was destroyed by Godzilla, the many other survivors are joined in Nevia's site as they are no longer have a support with Captain Haru Sakaki as they are done with it. So they decide no longer to follow him. So they choose Nevia's instead because of it, for the reason why Haru Sakaki was not infected with Nanomano from the last one, because of the derivation of God claimed by Nevia's. Well, we all know that in the last film he was in the got a medical treatment by Miana for the reason why Haru survived. Well, Yoko didn't. She was in a brain dead coma in this film since in the last movie she was neuralization by Galagu. And I was very disappointed we never get Yoko come back to life, but in the film she's only appearing in vision by Nepheus, along with Leland and the other dead soldiers who were killed by Godzilla during the battle, including Yoko's grandfather. And also the film will also give an explanation of what happened to the landing ship from the first chapter of the anime trilogy on the, the mission for Tali. Tal it turns out it was Nephias all along. He gave the bomber to the pilot and that's how what happened to the landing ship. You know, if I were Haru, I should know the truth right in front of my face. Well, I wish. And also in the film also give an explanation who did really rescue Haru and give him a medical treatment. It wasn't Ma Miana at all, it was Mina who saved Haru's life. She was the one who removed Haru's uniform in order to get that the powder all over his skin to heal him. And a tour at the end, well Ghidorah only shows up during the final battle between Godzilla and Ghidorah in the final fight. Pharrell and the rest of the movie keeps showing us some a lot of vision stuff all over and over. Even Mechagodzilla and Mechagodzilla is the only mention in the film, but Moffer also make an appearance in this film only in silhouette, appear on vision in order to help when Mina and Martin have to help Haru in order to fight the way to escape the vision by Nepheus. By destroying the garbage and being on Nepheus' eye, then he replaced it. The one that he used it for a repaired it with a nanometal for the last one. It was the res res ritual was calling Ghidorah. The only way to submit Ghidorah is calling his name and he was a golden wing of death. Ghidorah was back in a row as the alien monster role who hadn't been in that row since 1972 Godzilla vs. Gigan and almost nearly half of a decade since Ghidorah's last scene in GNK. Also he was supposed to be making an appearance in the other draft of Godzilla Final Wars, but he didn't make a cut in the final film, along with Mecha Godzilla, Gorosaurus, Mothra Larvae, and a giant octopus, which is I heard and read about it. But it was nice to have Ghidorah back in this film, but this is way before King Ghidorah's coming to America, which is this will be the next film later. But I'll save it when I get there. And I tore at the end, Haru learned that. When Martin managed to reboot the Vulture with a nanometer with Yoko's body, but he received something from Nepheus, it might happen again. Like, start all over again. But what, what Haru did, 
he had to do what's right so that for safety was left of humanity and Holtwa, he made a right choice to let Godzilla destroy him and Yokosa's body while in sign of vulture in order to destroy the last trace of the human's path forever. In the last film, when Haru destroyed the control center and killed Galago, it was the right thing to do. If Haru didn't destroy the control center, the nanometer will continue to exalt the Atara planet after it kills Godzilla. But Haru did the right thing to save the Earth. But if it does happen, if the nanometer does insult the entire planet all over the world, how can we survive? Well, it might be poison to us. Like a rattlesnake might bite you. Well, it's kind of similar, but I believe that. Well, if I was Haru, I might have to do what's right. To do what my heart tells me. Even if you're almost finally finishing Godzilla off, but... You have to do what's right for the sake of your friend and anybody who's close to you. Well, that's all I have to say for Godzilla the Planet Eater. Stay tuned to next episode, I'll reveal... The third entrance of the MonsterVerse series with Godzilla King of the Monsters, which is, which is it's coming up next on April 8th. Because in this April 1st, i got to have a lot of schedule to do. So stay tuned for April 8th. I will return to do more Godzilla time. Stay tuned, and thank you so much for watching, you guys. And stay with your fans, as always. Sorry, my friends. Bye!